Hello, this is day 14, I believe. Pretty sure it is. And so this will be the final one. Um, unless I spontaneously get excited and probably go live again, which I may do. I've got my daughter here who has just joined me. Hello. <laughs> Good girl. So, what I titled this one was all kinds of prayer. I want to, I want to first of all share the broadcast. And so if you'd like to do that too, then you're welcome to. All right, here we go. Fantastic. Yeah, so all kinds of prayer, you know, We've been spending the last 14 days with an emphasis on prayer and fasting and teaching around the topic of prayer and fasting. And that's it. Come closer. <laughs> and um, I want to read from Ephesians 6.18 in the NIV says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for the Lord's people. We don't just want to have a time whereby you spend a certain amount of time in January at the start of each year being spiritual and then you don't anymore. Like you spend a time praying and fasting. It causes you to be sharper. There's a, a tremendous amount of benefits to it. But then we don't want to just leave it for the until next year because it's too far to go pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayer and so i'm just going to finish up the the kind of series if you will to say pray with all kinds of prayer sometimes it'll be prayer and fasting sometimes it will be the prayer of faith sometimes it'll be prayer of consecration of bringing your will into alignment with God's. Um, sometimes it'll be prayer of supplication, intercessory prayer, praying in the spirit, speaking in tongues, praying in tongues. So there, there are many kinds of prayer that the Bible talks about. It's not, it's not a one, one kind of prayer fits all situations. Hello, Ivan and Julie. It's really not a one, one kind of prayer fits all. And so I want to encourage you not to think just, well, one dimensional with prayer. There, there is a time to pray the prayer of faith. And sometimes we should be praying the prayer of faith rather than the prayer of when you're building relationship with the Lord and, and thanking Him. For certain things, it's it does not have the same function. It does not have the same purpose. It's not the same kind of prayer. And many times, I, I remember, yes. So, praying with all kinds of prayer. Here's more evidence that there's different kinds of prayer. Is First Timothy two says, therefore I exert first of all that supplications, prayers intercessions and giving of thanks be made for all men for kings and all who are in authority that we may lead quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and perseverance but you notice those first four things he, he lists off one after another different different things i exert first of all that supplications prayers intercessions giving of thanks be made so there are many different kinds of prayer and we really should have an understanding to put the right kinds of prayer for the right type of need or for the right kind of purpose. Don't you think, Adonica? Don't you think that'd be good? Mm, what would you do? <laughs> it's a bit different doing the broadcast with my daughter here. Well, while she's having dinner. How good. 
<laughs> Fantastic. Well, well done. Thank you for joining every day that you were able to make the broadcast. And yes, we will look forward to seeing many of you tomorrow at 10 a.m. where we, to an extent, celebrate Australia Day all over again at church. And um, if you're anywhere in the Toowoomba area, we'd love to see you there. And you are welcome to come. Provided that you, <laughs> oh boy, just had another, you know, just had another episode today. <laughs> if you really want, if you really want the, the truth, the whole truth, so help me God. You know, yesterday, church broken into, special broadcast. Um, what's for dinner, Addy? It's. Sausages. Yeah, what kind of sausage? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. Very good. Oh no, my But you know, within minutes of turning up at the church, someone stopped the car, like turned around, drove back, and then pulled up behind me and I was taking a, a wheelie bin in off of the curb. And they like confronting me, trying to argue basically all this doctrine, talk about how God's a God of wrath as well. I'm like, what on earth is going on? Day before church gets broken into, now I've got to deal with someone who <laughs> is like, didn't look crazy, didn't look crazy, I must say. So if they're watching, well done, because you don't, you don't look crazy, but to just like blurt out and arguments about doctrine when I'm, I haven't even, I haven't disagreed with anything that you've said yet, but you're already arguing like with an imaginary person, including me in this thing. I'm like, what is going on? Asking me if I trim the sides of my beard. I'm like, um, <laughs> what is happening? So the good thing is that if you're experiencing some opposition from the devil through people, then congratulations, you're not heading in the same direction as him. So congratulations if you've joined the club there and you've experienced some things as of recent times, but it even seems like maybe a time of prayer and fasting emphasis um, can just drive out certain certain things, certain behaviors, certain devils. This kind cometh not out except by prayer and fasting. <laughs> and it came out today. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, you know, we actually... Do you know what um, John Osteen's advice was to another great person about building a really strong church and growing a church that would be great was to um was to drive out every devil <laughs> and when he said that he knew that he didn't mean casting out demons like driving out devils like that he knew he meant people and so i think he said y you mean people he said yes I'm like that's crazy but some people aren't meant to be running with you some people are running in a different direction. And so if you're if you have listened to the broadcasts and you feel like, hey, I am running in the same direction, then you know, maybe Breakthrough Center is the church for you. It's funny, hey, because during that time of um during the time of the yes no vote, the most recent yes no vote, um about what was it about? I don't even know. But <laughs> changing the constitution. Um, I would read this publicly. And so many people from other churches would visit Breakthrough Sound. And I'd read this publicly. Now, what am I talking about? I, I'll read this 
just to tie, just to put a bow on the end of the broadcast. And you know what? This acknowledgement, it's an acknowledgement is what it is that I'm going to read you. And this acknowledgement is on our website. You can have a look at it. And if you want to give, you can give to Breakthrough Center. Here's the link. I'm posting it. So click on the link, have a look at the website, scroll down a little, and you can read it in your own time as well. But it reads as follows. I acknowledge the original owner of the land on which we are meeting. Now, I used to read this out many, many Sundays. Psalm 24.1 says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. I pay my respects to the one who is, who was, and who is to come, the God who gave his beloved son. I pay homage to the only one worthy to take the scroll and open its seals. Because you were slain and with your blood you purchased men from, for God from every tribe, nation, skin, color, and tongue. I pay my respects to the one with the highest name, Jesus, and to this great south land his spirit comes. You know, I wrote that out and would read it regularly on Sundays because I, I was coming against what I saw in the world as an antichrist spirit. Now, I'm going somewhere with this. Many people came to Breakthrough Center, and when I, I read that out, you know what their reaction was? Many times, they were like, wow, that was amazing. That was so good. It would be so great if where we were, the pastor read something like that or did something like that. But I salute you. Well done. I am now going back to the church that I don't really fit in with. I'm going back to the church where they told us to get the Vash, the Vash Head Nation, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to mispronounce it so I didn't get Zuckerberg. Um, I'm going back to a church whereby I, I know I basically shouldn't be. It, it's bizarre to me that. People that are baptized in the Holy Ghost then revert back and go to a church that doesn't believe in the baptism of the Holy Spirit. This kind of thing. Like, what are you doing? You know, find your tribe. Like, find the people that you are moving in the same direction as. And if you can't find anyone in the place where you live, then move. Move places and find your tribe and run with them. There were, uh, and now there are a lot of great churches, I must admit, but I just read a, ch I just read a, um, <laughs> okay, now I'm being super honest with you. I'm being very transparent here. I just read something from, um, and this happens. If you follow like the Toowoomba Christian community page, someone will say, oh, I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a Pentecostal church. Does anyone have any recommendations? Not this one, not that one. It's like the seagulls on Finding Nemo. Mine, 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 mine. Come, mine, 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 like so many churches are like fighting over the different people, but they're already, they're already believers. They're like actively looking for the church. I'm like, don't pick mine. <laughs> I'm like, don't, don't. Like, why did you leave the last one? Please don't come. <laughs> I've, I've come so close to commenting so many different times and, and my comments were, in my opinion, no. I, I've typed them out and I haven't sent them because, you know, I'm trying to be gracious. But my comments were very different to the barrage of comments trying to get people, yeah, yeah, come to this church, come to this church. I'm like, we actually want, we actually want to find our tribe and, and love them hard and run with them. And have people that are awake and not woke and see people come to Christ and see them discipled. And if you're meant to be with us, then then be with us. Yes. But, it, but if you're not meant to be with us, then don't be with us. That's okay. Yeah, so that, that's my strongest recommendation, both to come yes. and to not come. <laughs> no, so what a, what a strange ending. But, but I go. That's a Bible. Bible. Yes, indeed. That's right. It's a good one.
Something. That's right. Yeah. Going after new souls, going after winning souls, and then seeing them join the church. That's that's who we should be like the seagulls Michael. from Finding Nemo about. Oh. Just going after new souls, not not other other people that are already established somewhere else. But people. we should be very aware that we should be planted somewhere where we're going to flourish. And um, planted. it's been so great to see many people planted at Breakthrough Center and flourishing. And I feel like my own family is too. So we're blessed. We're blessed. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Love you all. Love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Yes. 10 a.m. Yes. Happy yes. Australia Day. Yes. Wait, Daddy. It's for yesterday. You want to press the finish button? No. Don't I can? Can I have play around on it? No, you can't just play, like, oh. haphazardly. Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye. I want to play finish. I want to play finish.